Welcome to our first lesson about using a layout sketch. There's a fast way to create a layout sketch. We just click Create Layout. But I'm going to cancel out of the Begin Assembly Property Manager so we can take a look at the Layout tab. If you don't see the Layout tab, just right-click on the tabs and ensure that it's selected. Remember, all visible tabs are indicated by a checkmark. As you may have noticed, the Layout tab is pretty similar to the Sketch tab. Basically, a layout sketch is a 3D sketch. And you can only create one layout sketch for your assembly. Let's begin by clicking the first tool at the far left, Create Layout. Currently, the front plane is active. We're effectively in the 2D environment right now. To deactivate the front plane, just double-click anywhere in blank space in the graphic area. If you need to reactivate any plane, you can double-click its node in the design tree. Notice that not every sketch tool is active in the layout environment. OK, while the front plane is active, I'm going to take a normal 2 view. What I'm going to do in this tutorial is create a mechanism using blocks. I'm going to start by placing a few construction lines using the center line tool. Right click and chain. A second line. Right click and chain. And a third line. Now let's activate the circle tool. We'll place six circles here. Each center point of the circle is coincident with a line's endpoint. And then we'll right click and select to close the tool. Let's control select all six circles and apply an equal relation. By the way, we currently don't see the relation glyphs in the graphic area. That's because they're currently hidden. Let's go to View, Sketch Relations to toggle them on. But I'm actually going to hide them so the graphic area remains uncluttered. Now let's apply some dimensions. The diameter of our circles will be 7 millimeters. The first line, 120 millimeters. The second line, 50 millimeters, except. And 30 millimeters for the third line. Now I'm going to place three points in the graphic area. And I'll just right click and select to close the point tool. Select a point in one of the center lines and apply a midpoint relation. Same thing for the second line. And now the last point and the last center line, add a midpoint relation. OK. Next, I'm going to create three rectangles. Let's activate the Rectangle tool. Here's the first. Here's the second. And the last one here. Center line. Let's apply a corner-to-corner -corner construction line on all three rectangles. And here's the third center line. Right-click and select to close the tool. And let's select all of the lines and apply an equal relation. Now let's smart dimension the width of the rectangle at 10 millimeters. OK. And let's exit the tool. Let's select this point and the center line. Apply a midpoint relation. Again, this point and the center line. Midpoint relation and a third midpoint relation between this point. And here's the center line. Midpoint. OK. Now we're going to dimension our rectangles. The length for this will be 130 millimeters. OK. This one 60 millimeters. OK. And 40 millimeters for the last one. And I need to create one more center line. Something like this. Let's smart dimension it. Make it 135 millimeters. OK. And let's exit the smart dimension tool. Now I'm going to create a block. 
Notice that the Layout tab does have block tools. Make block. Drag select. Accept. Deselect everything. Otherwise, the next block will be created inside the first block. Make block again. Let's make another window selection. Deselect. Make block a third time. Select this unit. Accept. Deselect. Make block. And let's select this line and accept. OK, let's select our last construction line and apply a fix relation now. And let's go to View and scroll down to Sketch Relations to toggle those visible for a moment. I'm going to grab this point, grab it till it snaps to this endpoint, and let it go. Same thing on this side. I will snap the points together. Right here as well. Now let's control select these two points and apply a coincident relation. Okay, let's check to see how our mechanism works. Looks okay. In our next lesson, we're going to make a model from the blocks that we created here. Before we wrap up this tutorial, there's one more thing I wanted to take a look at. Let's accept this block. Exit the layout sketch. Notice we don't have sketch icons in the design tree. If you need to activate the layout sketch again, just click the layout command on the far left. And a reminder that you can only create one layout sketch per assembly. This concludes our first lesson about using a layout sketch.